Hey guys, welcome to today's Hot or Not. I stumbled upon something extremely exciting at the drugstore this week and I had to make a Hot or Not immediately. I actually had something else planned, but I was like, no, they need to know about this now. Um, we are talking about the brand new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. This is a makeup extender. It's not a mattifier or anything that is going to add a glow to the skin. It is simply going to make your makeup last a lot longer. It is most comparable to Urban Decay's All Nighter, and I love this. I've gone through bottle after bottle after bottle, and you guys know I am a total slave to setting sprays. I did an entire video where I had like 15 bottles surrounding me, and I was like, and I love this one, and I love that one, and I anything that's new I have to try as far as a setting spray goes because I have the kind of skin that eats makeup. Like literally, I will look in the mirror an hour after putting on a blush and if it's not a long wear blush and I haven't set or primed and done the whole big thing, it's just gone. It just disappears. So I have become really good at taking those steps to make sure that my makeup lasts because also I don't like you know, fussing with my makeup throughout the day. I just, I wanna do it once, I wanna be done. Um, and if you use products that extend the wear of your makeup, that can happen, it actually, these work. Um, okay, so the Urban Decay All Nighter is $30 for four ounces. Now let's talk about the L'Oreal. Uh, this is up there in price. That's actually the one thing that kind of made me go, dang it. You know, are you kidding me? I went to the register, like I saw this on the display. There were two left, I grabbed one and I went straight to the register and I paid for it. I didn't even look at the price. I was like, it's the drugstore. It can't be that much. And I paid for it and it's $16.99. It might be a little more expensive here in California because that usually seems to be the case. I have looked online and it's like $13.49 at Bed Bath Beyond, other places in the country. And you can use a 20% off coupon at Bed Bath Beyond and then it would make it a little more affordable. Also, yes, $16.99 is a lot for this, but wait for a sale, use a coupon. You guys know all my you know drugstore spiel about never paying full price at the drugstore unless you're me and you're gonna review it. Another thing that I don't like about this is you only get 3.4 ounces. So I wish you got more. I wish it wasn't as expensive. And um, the last little weird thing that I don't like about it is it's that same rubberized packaging where at least it's black and you're not gonna see all the makeup getting stuck to it. But if any of you own any of the Urban Decay setting sprays, this bottle gets so dirty so quickly it drives me bananas. So I wish it was a different type of a bottle. Um, aside from that, magic. This stuff right here is like your magic elixir. The spray is pretty nice. I don't have any huge complaints. The Urban Decay wins for the finest spray ever. Like I don't know what they did to this nozzle to like just make it so perfect, but it really is. Um, but this is not bad. It's not like that other setting spray that I was pretty harshly reviewing where I got like drops of makeup everywhere all over my makeup room. Point is, it's not a bad spray. It doesn't leave any weird drops on your face. The product itself is incredible. If we watched yesterday's vlog where I was out shopping for bridesmaids dresses, I will link that below. A lot of you guys are commenting on my skin. My foundation and priming routine has changed recently. I will update you guys soon. I sprayed this all over my face in the morning and I kid you not, my makeup literally just looked completely fresh all day long. So you saw me in the morning at the newsstand, we went and got coffee, we ate lunch, we went shopping, I came home, Home, and my makeup was still really good and for me that says a lot about a product like this so I really really love it I've worn this maybe five times now and I just want to address something really quick as well as far as me hopping on here every week and saying something is hot and something is not I pretty much know right away if I like a product or if I hate it and if I hate it it's kind of like food that you eat that's gross. I'm not gonna keep eating it until I suddenly like it. Like I know I don't like it and I'm gonna share with you guys why it didn't taste good to me. So, um, but we all have different tastes. So that being said, yes, I've only used this for a week, but I freaking love it. 
but buy it on sale because $16.99 is a bit pricey for a drugstore item. All right, there we have it. Very exciting new item at the drugstore. And actually there are a ton of new products at the drugstore. I also bought like a boatload of Revlon stuff. And I'm thinking instead of doing a hot or not, because I haven't tried any of it yet, that I would do a first impressions get ready with me. So thumbs up this video if you want to see that next week. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. We are going to get back to earlier uploads, I promise. The big launch announcement is happening tomorrow, and I have just been hustling and hustling behind the scenes to make everything happen. So um, I hope you come back tomorrow for the launch. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great day. Mwah.